the camera. Come on then, come and say hi before you start playing. Come on! Show everyone how big you've got over Christmas. Oh my god, my actual toddler. What in the three-year-old do we have here? When did you turn three? We have the snottiest little girl in the world right now. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> Clever girl. My little snotty girl. Honestly, she's been so ill on and off over Christmas. Welcome back, by the way, guys. First video of 2024. I'm basically, this first section is just going to be a quick little, little, a quick big, not quick. I just want to like brain dump. It's one of them. I just feel like my two, almost three week break. I just, I've missed you guys. And I feel like we need to catch up. There's a, been many a time where I've gone to pick up the camera and just, it's, it's crazy. It's just crazy, isn't it? But yeah, welcome back. New video. Do you want to go and play while I talk for a little while? Yes. Hi. How are we? I hope you all had a great Christmas and New Year. Oh God, I can't even think straight. I just, I've been in a really weird funk the last week. I keep going to pick up the camera and I'm back in that headspace where I'm like, no, what I'm not doing is not fun enough. Or I have to, I've started a couple clips and I've deleted them because I start with the intentions of doing something that day. And that is one of my New Year's resolutions. I don't really do too many resolutions because I feel like they're made to be broken. That's such a bad way to look at it. But I want to stop putting too much pressure on myself and stop like having these self doubts. Obviously it's not going very well. But yeah, I'll start the day and say I'm going to do X, Y and Z this day. Start a vlog, start a clip. And then Ocean's been really ill or we don't end up doing it. And then it just goes down the pan and then there's no more clips for that day so i'm just gonna sit down and talk and then this could turn into a vlog maybe it's just gonna be a little catch up but firstly i feel like i should say i got all my hair cut off which is quite a big deal <laughs> not the biggest news in the world but i'm gonna insert the clips now because i did vlog a little bit that was on the 2nd of jan i just wanted a little bit of a fresh start it's so dramatic i feel like cutting off all your hair is just right this is what this is why everything takes so long you know but yeah, I cut off all my hair and roll the clips. We're gonna cut all my hair off. I mean it this time. I know last time I vlogged with Susie, I cut it. And to be fair, it was, we just you, have You've cut a lot last time, don't put yourself down. I'm gonna cut all my hair off because it's time. All right, guys, I'm about to show you my hair and what I've done. Well, what this comes done. I give you this and this. What is it? Paolo is exhausted. Only Paolo can take this and this and give you. A cool girl. Oh! Guys, I mean it now. I've gone short. I've gone short, short. My camera's not so it's perfect timing. But wow, I'm obsessed. I don't know why I'm like that, like, as if it's down my oh, back. It's literally a vibe and a half. Yeah. It's really cute. I'm really happy with it. Thank you so much, Suze. She's the best as You're always. Welcome. I always feel like it's so pointless me even shouting you out because you don't take any more bookings. <laughs> but no, follow her Instagram anyway because the video she posts of her transformations is just the most satisfying thing on God's earth. Oh, I love you, I do. And she always saves my life because honestly, how boring was my hair before? You can all admit it now. We can all comment down below how bad my hair looks <laughs> because we've just looked back at the videos. I'll put some on the screen. Why? You know, no, I'm not. No, be nice, but like, what in Hagrid? Sister, what's going what on? What Hermione is going on? I'm literally obsessed with it. I love ya. So, ocean updates. I feel like she's actually nine months tomorrow, but the changes are rapid. I feel like she's just, I can't get my head around it. She's so aware of everything. She's in another sleep regression. She's just like a full on child now. She's not a little tiny baby anymore. I feel like she knows what we're saying sometimes. She's aware of when I say no, obviously doesn't listen. She's just so cuddly. She's very clingy now. And yeah, over Christmas, she actually had chicken pox. You can still see some of the little red marks, the little scabs. They are starting to go down. I feel like I panicked at first because I've never had any baby have chicken pox this young, but everyone was saying it's actually a really good age for her to have it because a she's not aware so she won't pick at them and scratch them which she actually i don't think she's actually done that and b she's completely got it out of the way so one thing ticked off we don't have to worry about chicken pox anymore and now she's just been in and out of having really bad colds on and off i took her to the doctors yesterday and it's just like she's got the chest chestiest cough chestiest is definitely not a word but 
it just won't budge and it's like waking up in the night but he just said it's a viral thing and it's good you come in because you never know with babies and this time of year where it's so cold there's just so many things going around but baby's immune system is obviously non-existent and to a baby all these germs she could get a new variant of a cold every single week things that we are completely immune to because we've had every variant of cold and yeah she's building up that immunity so obviously that's why kids as time goes on they end up fighting off easier and that's when you hear people dropping their kids off a nursery and they pick up every single cough cold and illness under the sun which i have plenty to come so we might as well get used to it but yeah she's currently stood up next to me she can't stand hands free but she is dying to you are aren't you she's so much more chatty she tries to sing along with us when we're singing you go la 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 don't you yeah you still can't say mama i feel like when she cries at night she's like mom that's what it sounds like and literally everyone that hears on the monitor like well we've got family over everyone says like she definitely says it but why do you not say it in the day why do you only say it at night that's why i can't get my head down so maybe she's saying it i don't know sleep i'll quickly touch on sleep sorry if none of this you care about at all but i just feel like it's such a big thing in our life at the minute like sleep her sleep for the last week this last week i personally think has been harder than the newborn phase i just oh my god it's been hell just in case you don't follow me on instagram basically we've been putting her to bed at her normal time nothing's really changed the only thing that's changed is we went on holiday over christmas and she was obviously in our room for 10 days so yes as much as that is a big change for a baby maybe she was getting used to it she's been on holidays she went on holiday in november she went on holiday in september like she's had these changes <laughs> Oh, Bobby. Okay. She's also a big cry baby. Any tiny bum. You're okay. I saw that. That didn't, that didn't hurt. Oh, you're getting tired. Bedtime soon, Bubba. I know. But guess why you're tired? Do you know why you're tired? Because you don't go to bed at night. You scream and cry. Would you like this? <gasps> yes. We were on a holiday like a month before our Christmas holiday and the exact same situation. She was in a cot in our room. So I think it's just, like I said, a combination of the holiday. She was unwell. She's... <laughs> this is why I don't vlog at the minute. It is hard. I, I get why people get babysitters and nannies and then that's how they separate work. Ocean, leave the tripod. Dada, Dada not here. Dada at work. So you see, it is so many hours later and originally I planned to turn the camera off for a second, sort Ocean out, and then turn the camera straight back on. But that is the prime example of what I mean when I say I've been putting off vlogging, but this is just the new norm. It is getting harder, <laughs> I'll be honest. And I can't even remember where I finished up and I've not watched the last clip because I'm just, I'm just going to carry on talking. But yeah this last week has been harder than the newborn stage i think but anyways first night she's asleep of sleep training again um i can't remember if i said this but i have gone with a different sleep trainer i did really like sleeping bunnies and i do still really recommend them especially if you're having a lot of big problems with day naps i feel like they are a great company for daytime but they predominantly just do days and i need someone for the night so i am gonna give it a couple days before i mention but so far i'm loving the lady i'm with she's i'm pretty sure she's independent but i might even en end up mentioning it in this vlog i just want to like get a bit deeper into it. it's been one night but kind of a kind of a success you don't see like the biggest change in the world well it has been successful to be honest but we will see anyway i bought some flowers today so i'm gonna put them in my gorgeous strawberry vase whilst i continue to ramble i actually wanted red roses but they didn't have any they must be stocking up for valentine's day yeah so new year new me i like i said i, I don't know how i feel about new year's resolutions but i do think it is a great way to just have new goals and do your vision boards i haven't actually fully done mine yet i've started pinning stuff on pinterest that's normally how i tend to do it 
and then kind of go from there and make a mood board up from my Pinterest board. But that's where I'm a bit like, ugh, does it seem so forced just because it's the first week of January? Like Cass is like literally Cass swears by it. If you want to make a change, why do you have to wait till the first of the year or a Monday? Like if you want to make a change, like do it now. And I, I agree, I do. But I have been doing more running, for example. I'm trying to read every single night because it does make me really sleepy and I just think reading is really good. So I actually, I started most of these things over Christmas to be honest because I think I had that in the back of my head like don't, don't wait for the new year, what's the point? And I kept it up, I'm really enjoying it. And I always set some like little work goals which I leave in the notes of my phone. Nothing too pressurising, like I don't put it on my goal board to be honest like i don't really put figures and stuff because i just think they're not the be all and end all but it's nice to have some little goals to work towards that's how you make progression and i got myself an apple watch i did have one but i broke so i got the new apple watch and i'm quite enjoying it i like i quite like the pressure of an apple watch bit annoying when you're sitting down chilling it tells you tells you to stand up but that's another thing just trying to stay more active obviously doing my running and i'm really really enjoying it and I'm, i've been putting it off i still haven't joined the gym i literally said to Cass about an hour ago i was like oh my god i've still not joined the gym and he was like well did you go and view them because there's two that i want to view and i was like i honestly haven't had the time that one's too short and he went said you literally viewed a new house yesterday. No one's gonna humble me like that boy. It's true, I did, <laughs> I went to a house viewing yesterday. I mean, it's not that I wanna move because I've literally just got this place perfect. We're still, we're still in the balcony. The roof chairs, let's not even talk about it. Living in a listed building. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even want to talk about it. It's supposed to take two weeks and all the work's come to a stop. I'm not even gonna bore you with it because I don't even know what's going on to be honest, but there's just a few issues have come up and because it's a listed building, it's just not that straightforward. You have to wait to talk to people about things and everyone's scared to basically do anything wrong because it's a precious building. Anyway, oh my God, that one's way too short. I need to concentrate on my flowers. By the way, life hack, just buy cheap flowers from the supermarket and just buy like a couple of bunches. I've bought two bun bunches of roses. Yeah, view the house. It's not that I want to move. I just saw this house and it was lovely. And I did really, really like it. But to make that plunge so early on, as in we've not even been here two years, I would have wanted it to tick a couple more boxes. There was a couple of things I was like, oh, this is annoying. So as much as it was lovely, <laughs> but he's right. The whole point of this was that I made time to view a house and I did not make time to view a gym. So I I still have that on my to-do list. I actually was considering literally this evening to order a new planner. I know that um, Grace Beverly's got really good, like the product productivity planners are really good, but I don't know, I, I, I buy a diary every year and I never stick to filling it out. So I'm thinking, I'll just stick to, I'm such an iPhone calendar girly, like all my notifications come up on my Apple Watch and all my works on my calendars with my management. So, I don't know, but yeah, that's how my new year's looking. And I'm trying to go easy on myself and not be so in my head. I'm also trying to cook. And I'd say that honestly, the only things, as in like trying to cook more, I do cook, but literally only when I get my Hello Fresh which is like two or three times a week. I literally just got this. The reason it's on the table is because it came in the post today and then I put it in this bag with the roses. Um, I got a slow cooker for Christmas. You might have seen in my last vlog for my secret Santa from my family, I asked for a slow cooker and asked me if I've used it. I actually have been cooking. I've been really enjoying it, but I just thought that this would be a good idea to kind of just chuck stuff in a slow cooker in the morning and then it's ready for the evening and it works really well for if Cass is at work a little bit later and then yeah we don't have to think about it as much so let me know if you could have any other like really good recipe books I'm in my cooking era and then that is literally most of the updates to be honest but I hope you had a really good Christmas and I think I will continue and make this is a bit vloggy but I can't even think what I've got going on this week it's kind of just finding my groove again with work I've started 
back doing work. I had a job last week that I had to do, but it was literally just one job, so I'm fully back tomorrow. I went to Prim oh, do you know what? Actually, tomorrow I can show my Primark stuff because I went to Primark today. Um, I'm working with Primark this week, so I had to get a few bits, and they gave me a £75 voucher for the job, and I spent a lot more than that. Ask me why. Do I need anything else? Do I have breakdowns three times a week because I've got too much stuff and that I need to have a clear out and that I have 14 black blazers and I literally can't decide which one to keep? Yes, that is my life. But yeah, we'll continue rolling tomorrow because I'm literally going to be sitting here cutting these roses. Probably, honestly, name a vlog or a TikTok. I've noticed every time I film, the doorbell rings. But I'm going to be sitting cutting these roses probably for the rest of the evening. And yeah, I'll show you the Primark stuff tomorrow. And then we'll just see where the rest of the week goes because I'm not going to leave this video here. if it's a bit too bulky but it's so cold in the uk right now that i literally wore this on my run this morning i've done 5k the sun is shining even though it's so cold i actually quite like days like this the run was lovely but yeah this is one of the only hats i can locate at the minute because i literally got it yesterday at primark i need to go through the stuff but i thought i'd quickly just show you my outfit i have on this big oversized jumper Primark as well. This is what I'm working with them on, but not on YouTube. Uh, this is like for the NFL Super Bowl. And then my new trainers, I'll link them below. The coolest trainers, pink and red. It's my favorite color at the minute. They are low dunks. And I quite like the hair with the thing actually. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap up warm. I'm gonna take Ocean to baby class, but she's so full of cold and it might seem silly that I'm taking her out, but I said to my nan like, oh, She's feeling so sorry for herself. She's so, so snotty and bunged up. And she was like, going for a walk, wrapping up warm. We'll do her the world of good. I can hear her crying, so bye bye. But yeah, we're gonna go and walk it out, get some fresh air. And I'm hoping she's coming to the end of this bloody cold, because honestly, the amount of snot this girl produces, not okay. Oh goodness. Today has been, <laughs> you say pardon? Today, oh, pardon again. Today's been rough for this little girl. She has not felt good. She's so whingy. It's just so unlike her. And just so snotty. This is like the prime example of what I said at the beginning of this video. But I just want to get back onto YouTube. She makes my nerves bad. Standing up on everything. And falling over on everything. But as soon as she goes to bed, I'm going to do the prime up call. I've literally got it here. But she's not been great today, to be honest. But I've gone to the shops and stocked up on some baby vitamin, kind of, it's not a medicine, just multivitamin drops. And then I got the Cowpole Vapor Plug Fill-in. Fill-in? Refill and plug-in. Some more teething gel. It's hard because it's so hard to tell if she's just ill or if it's a combination of teething, being unwell. I think it's a bit of a different thing to be fair. And then I got some more cowpole as well. So we're not really getting much done to be honest. I shot some content today and then literally went for some coffee. Ocean, are you actually having me on right now? We do not need to play with all of mummy's candles, do we? But <laughs> yeah, we literally went for coffee, went for a little bit of walk. I'm not even making sense. Went for a little bit of walk, went for a walk. And thank God I had my run today. Otherwise I feel like, yeah, just nothing's getting done. I would have liked to have gone polite tonight, but Cassie's working late, so maybe tomorrow. But look how good my roses look. You saw me picking them apart last night. There's the Primark stuff. I wasn't joking. It's all ready to go. But we're going to do dinner and bedtime. Last night, I started the new sleep coaching. And do you know what? I'm not even going to bore you. I'm going to say, if you want to know about it, go on to my group chat. Not my new Motivation 2024 one about running and stuff my normal instagram group chat because i just completely spoke about it all on there 
but so far so good i've just kind of been reminded about all the stuff i kind of lost hope with and i knew from my last sleep training but obviously the last time i done it she was five months and now she's nine months today happy nine months squishy <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to take cute pics today because this is the milestone where it's like nine months in, nine months out. And I got really cute nine months in pics when I was bored and heavily pregnant. But what shall we have for dinner? It's just me and you tonight, Missy. What shall we have for dinner? Dinner. See you in a sec for the whole. I need a glass of wine. I don't even really drink wine. Today has been a lot. This last two weeks, and I literally keep saying it, I'm like a broken record, seriously, but. <laughs> what is this test? What is this test that you're putting me through? <laughs> this is a lot. Oh my God. I just, this sounds so mean, but I can honestly count down the minutes till she's going to bed tonight. She's so hard when she's ill. Like anyone though, I just picture how I feel when I'm ill and yeah, I just pray she feels better tomorrow, but she went to sleep fast. So the sleep training that I started doing last night is already working. I can't believe it. She fell asleep within like 10 minutes. Keep you posted if she stays asleep. Touch wood. Because that's not always the case, but in the madness of everything, my food delivery come. Honestly, prime food shopping has changed my life. I literally ordered this food at like 1 p.m. today. I'm going to do a load of prepping and use this book. It's slow cooker meals. I think I showed it yesterday, but I basically just picked a few. I can't even remember which one I picked. I picked this one. They're all relatively healthy. So per serving, well, yeah, they are healthy. This is a chili con carne macaroni melt. I think that looks freaking divine. Screenshot this if you want. Serves five, so I can freeze some or put some in the fridge, have some for lunch. And then I also got stuff for this. And again, I just, I'm gonna make loads. I feel like this is gonna be the perfect lunch. This looks like my dream lunch. Oh God, my mouth is watering. I wish I could be bothered to make all this now, but I'm just gonna make something now that's quite quick. I'm so tired. I just cannot wait to go to bed myself. I know, I said, let me, let me go get the Primark bag now. I'm gonna have to creep in Ocean's room shortly. Is that really bad? I can do it. Because I've left the primer bag in there, which is just typical. But let's just do the most quick brush haul ever. So I've got a set of pajamas, just a typical satin shirt and trousers. I used to buy ones like this from Victoria's Secret all the time back in the day. And they were like, I want to say something disgusting, like 50 pound. And this was 20 pound, which I do feel like is relatively expensive for Primark, but the quality is really nice of these PJs. I feel like these would last and they're very show stopping. I really like them. There's quite a lot of sale stuff in Primark at the minute. Well, there was in my one. I've seen these before. I've actually, I think I tried these on in the showroom. These are the Rita Aura, like Diamante striped ones. I thought these are just a little bit of fun to dress something up. And these were reduced from 20 to 10, so 50% off. We love a black jean. And then, this is the most random shop. It's literally stuff for holiday, stuff for ocean. I've got a black bikini. Who knows if any of this stuff is even gonna fit. I actually need to try it on because I'm just in the worst habit of not returning things and just forgetting about things and things expiring, like the receipt. So just, uh, sorry, the label's like caught up, but you can kind of see the vibe. Bikini, I thought these bottoms looked so good. And bikinis are so cheap in Primark. These are like £2.50 each part. Isn't that a nice shape? I feel like this is like the perfect coverage for bikini bottoms, not too skimpy. These are my favourite knickers ever. And I got these three pack, £6. I think they've gone up in price. I'm pretty sure they were like £4 before. Loved these fluffy socks. My feet are constantly cold at the minute and I just can't find my slippers ever so I thought I'd get some socks for the go. Red and strawberries on my red theme. This, I saw a TikTok video and, or was it a YouTube video? I don't even bloody know but I'm gonna buy doubles of everything I take away every single trip. I'm sick to death of repacking travel bags so I'm literally gonna, this is like one that you hang in your bathroom, I'm gonna buy like toothpaste, deodorant, everything, and just leave it in my suitcase. 
I know like future me will thank me. And they had so many of these, but I feel like I'll see how I go with one. Seven pound, because I just don't want too much and not use them. And then I always need these, especially for ocean stuff, like her body lotion. Again, I'm going to make these up and leave them in a case. Obviously stuff will like, kind of expire within six months to a year, but we have a few trips coming up and they are always handy. One of the, like, there wasn't much baby stuff to be honest, that was nice. One of the things I picked up for Ocean, because we, like I said, we've got a few trips coming up. £1.30, just a little heart t-shirt. And then the last two things in this bag. I thought this bag was quite cute. My nan's got this bag in black, I think. And she always uses it. It's just an easy little, I've actually got it bunched up. It's a nice just painting nude bag and this was reduced again 50% down from 12 to 6. It's actually a pretty good size to be honest. And then I needed some hair clips. I've already took one off. And then the rest of the stuff's in the bag downstairs. This jumper I've got on. Again, I think I should have, honestly don't know what's wrong with my brain at the minute. Yeah, I remember talking about this. This is what I have the Primark campaign for. You know, what's Usher performing at? Super Bowl stuff. Let me go downstairs and get the brown bag. That felt like a bank robbery. Goodness me. Little cardigan for Ocean. This was £4.50. She's in 9 to 12 months at the minute. Like fully just in that. We was in between 6 to 9 months and 9 to 12 months for ages. Because I feel like some things can't be a little bit smaller. But she's fully out at 6 to 9 months now. And she'll probably be in 12 to 18 months ASAP. This, I couldn't decide if I thought it was really cute or... No, I do think it's cute. Maybe with... I don't know. Do I like the t-shirt? Anyway, I like the pink and red, you know me. And when we go away, it's like around Valentine's Day kind of thing. So, you know, on theme. 10 pound, cute. And then I got some new black jeans. Never have too many black straight leg mum style jeans. Oh, not another bikini, I don't I need to try this up on. Hack, I've literally done this for years and years and years, as long as I can remember, like way before I done this job. I always used to get the best bikinis in the winter in Primark. I think they have to sell a couple of bikinis all year round just because some people obviously still go away. And I always found the best ones in the winter. And you get loads of sizes because no one's buying them. And just keep them for the summer. This jumper, I said I would stop buying jumpers. But I freaking love it. I think I just love Primark's like sports or American kind of style. So this is like a Michigan State University hoodie and I liked that it was zip up and I like that it's like a buttercream with green. Love that. And that is £18. I got that in a size small. I tried it on and it was huge. So they come up oversized. And then literally two more things, which is perfect timing because my battery's flashing. Me in a pyjama set. Just shorts and short sleeve. Pink and red. Are you kidding me? A dream. And then some tights because Ocean is in her I pull my socks off era. So I'm going to start putting tights on there to be honest. £4. And you know what? I think I'm going to wrap this video here. I feel like this was not the kind of video I wanted to start with because I just feel like I'm very like, help, having a moment. But I promise I'm actually feeling really positive about 2024. I'm just keeping it really real. That's the best I can say it. Parenting is a lot, but it is the best thing ever. Don't get me wrong. But we are in our phase of figuring things out and yeah. We'll get through it, but thank you for coming back and stay tuned. The vlog is going to get better. I pinky, pinky swear. Pinky swear? Pinky swear. That is not pinky swear. But thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Follow me on TikTok. I'm posting every single day and Instagram. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one.